Number 10, Eric Lundholm. Eric Lundholm was bitten by a rat while at work in the state of Idaho. He contracted rat bite fever, which is treatable but can be fatal if ignored. Lundholm was employed by Butterball Rodents, a company that provides live mice and rats as a food source for reptiles and birds of prey. He experienced flu-like symptoms, which he ignored at first, but decided to visit the hospital after his condition worsened. The doctors examined Lundholm and made a shocking discovery. He was at risk of going into heart failure and required immediate surgery. Though Lundholm was expected to recover a year after the procedure, he'd have to use blood thinners for the rest of his life. Today's featured fan shout out is Instagram follower at Bazibero. To appear in our next video, send us your pick, rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com and send it in to us on Instagram today. Number nine, terrorized neighborhood. Rats attacked an unsuspecting neighborhood in Florida after a family with a tendency for hoarding left their home. When the unnamed mother and daughter moved, a flipper bought the house. To minimize costs, they dumped all the garbage into large dumpsters, refusing to call an exterminator. They also left the doors and windows open, enabling hundreds of rats and other vermin to swarm the neighborhood. The city assured the neighbors that the dumpsters had been removed and the house's new owner was contacted. Exterminators were sent daily to work on the infestation, however. Neighbors claimed they had to sleep with one eye open and spent hundreds of dollars purchasing traps and sprays. Several residents reported seeing mischiefs of 20 to 40 rats running outside their windows. Rats are a type of rodent, generally belonging to the genus Rattus. There are other variations such as the pack, bandicoot, and kangaroo rats. Though they hold many similarities with mice, they're easily distinguishable by their size. Male rats are also known as bucks, while females are referred to as does. A pack of these animals is called a mischief. These mammals possess a thick and muscular tail that's sensitive to environmental changes. This appendage grants rats a rather unusual defense mechanism. They're able to detach their outer layers to make a quick escape when attacked by a predator. This usually only happens when the animal is exposed to intense pain. Number eight, unnamed 80-year-old woman. A senior resident living at the Kruxlat retirement home in Sweden was bitten on the face by a rat while sleeping. The woman suffered from dementia and was lying in her bed when the attack happened. She was hospitalized suffering from severe injuries on her face. Authorities searched the building for signs of infestation and discovered cracked water pipes as well as rat droppings. The victim's relatives also expressed their concern for the well-being of other residents. Number seven, rat infestation in Ireland. The lockdown put in place during 2020 to control the coronavirus outbreak caused a massive rat infestation all across Ireland. Sightings of giant rats were reported and experts believe this is due to the fact that restaurants and bars were forced to close their doors for several weeks. This measure forced rats to search for new sources of food, unable to find it in the alleys behind these establishments. The rats have also been described as cannibalistic, as they readily turn on each other when other sources of nourishment aren't available. Cities have experienced this problem more intensely than small towns and villages. As such, authorities urged residents to keep both windows and doors shut. They also emphasized the importance of disposing of garbage properly. Rats can be found in every single area of the earth that's inhabited by people. The only exception is Antarctica, as its gelid temperatures prevent this opportunistic survivor from living outdoors. In large cities, rats are considered a pest. As the human population grows, so does the number of rodents that live in these areas. New York City in particular is home to massive-sized rats. This is most likely due to the abundance of both shelter and food. Milder winters have also made it easier for these rodents to reproduce. Rats are capable of swimming up sewer pipes, hiding in small nooks and even behind walls. When introduced to a new habitat, they can lead to the extinction of different native species such as birds, reptiles, and even plants. This is especially true when it comes to island habitats. Number six, Ross Campbell. New Zealand actor Ross Campbell woke up feeling a sharp pain in his face. When he came to, Campbell was shocked 
to discover a rat biting at his lip. The 63-year-old man felt blood pouring down his chin and he attempted to clean up the fresh wound. Surprisingly, he went back to bed, only to be bitten on his thumb next. He decided it was time to go to the hospital and was treated for his wounds. Residents of the area claimed to have discovered rats as large as cats invading their homes. Campbell decided to speak to the press about it to raise awareness of the rat infestation that was taking place. Number 5. Unnamed 56-year-old man In 2018, experts at the University of Hong Kong were contacted about a 56-year-old patient who was suffering from abnormal liver functions. He had just undergone a liver transplant and his doctors couldn't figure out the cause of his symptoms. After running several tests, investigators discovered that he contracted hepatitis E. However, they couldn't find the human strain of this illness in his blood. This would eventually turn out to be the first documented case of a rat infecting a human with hepatitis E. Ever since that incident, over 10 new cases have been reported. Though the disease is usually transmitted by drinking contaminated water, at least up until 2020, researchers haven't discovered how the rat strain spreads to humans. Rats help spread several deadly diseases. Historically, these have included bubonic plague, meningitis, typhus, hantavirus, salmonellosis, and Lassa fever. Even though they can harm humans by directly biting or scratching them, their droppings in urine can also contaminate food and transmit illnesses. Its saliva and the fleas they carry also represent a dangerous risk to people's health. Several different infections can be linked to rat attacks such as sepsis and myocarditis, which are blood and heart infections, respectively. These rodents also destroy their surroundings in search of food by gnawing at anything from fabric to plastic and even softer metals. Number 4. Charlene Jackson Charlene Jackson and her family reported being constantly harassed by giant rats infesting their home. The Jacksons, residents of England, lived in the same flat for 11 years but claimed that the rats had become more brazen. Every single time the mother of three cooked dinner, the rodents entered the kitchen. It was reported that they even climbed up the sewers and entered the apartment through the toilet. This resulted in one of the children, a nine-year-old boy, refusing to use the bathroom, terrified of being attacked. The rats even destroyed the family's washing machine, rendering it unusable. Jackson and her family were terrified of sleeping at night and being attacked. Even cooking dinner became a struggle, with rats walking over every surface of the flat. Number 3. Sophia A woman who only revealed her middle name to the press reported being attacked by a rat while she was walking down the street. The wild animal launched at her ankle and scratched her before Sophia managed to kick it off. The rat scampered away and she rushed home to check her wound. She discovered a small scratch, which she treated with hydrogen peroxide and antibiotic cream. Soon after, she made an appointment with her doctor, who gave her a tetanus shot. This kind of attack isn't typical in rats, as they tend to run away from humans instead of launching at them unprovoked. It's been theorized that the rodent might have been running away from something and bumped against Sophia's legs, scratching her in self-defense. Today's topic was requested by Son of Movie Nerd King. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. It's vital to take preventative measures to avoid rat infestations from taking over buildings, houses and even cities. Though regular fumigation is essential, keeping garbage from piling up and properly storing food greatly helps keeping the pests at bay. If any infestation signs are discovered, such as rat droppings, immediate measures should be taken to keep them from multiplying. Rats don't usually attack humans without provocation, though babies, elders and homeless people have been victims of these rodents. If bitten, it's important to promptly get medical help. This prevents wounds from getting infected and also allows doctors to quickly discover any illnesses contracted during the attack. In their early stages, most of these diseases can be cured with penicillin or other antibiotics, but growing increasingly harder to treat as time goes by. Number 2. Samantha A 14-year-old paraplegic girl identified only as Samantha 
was violently attacked and mutilated by rats while she slept. She was rushed to hospital by her father, suffering from over 45 facial injuries, plus 150 more on her hands and 30 on her feet. The doctors discovered some of her fingertips had actually been bitten off. Surgeons were unable to repair the damage. Police investigated the attack and the family was moved into a new home. The young girl was checked for infections and rabies. Fortunately, all tests came back negative. Number 1. Sakshi Kandelwal Sakshi Kandenwal, a cancer patient, hospitalized in India, was suffering from agonizing pain while bedridden. Her husband claimed no doctor came to check on her and she received no radiotherapy treatment during her stay. When he attempted to help her and pull back the blankets, the man discovered her left foot was covered in blood. Rats had bitten off one of her toes and no one had noticed. This incident occurred during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic and the hospital didn't provide any medical aid for her injuries. Kandelwal's husband was forced to purchase bandages and ointment on his own. After Mr. Kandelwal uploaded a video showing his wife's plight, the hospital suddenly discharged her. The couple reported Kandelwal was still in poor health when she was forced to return home. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be buried alive with a dozen hungry rats for half an hour or swim naked in a piranha pool? Let us know in the comments section below.